All right, folks, a new day. Well, new evening, I guess. Afternoon, evening. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like messing with the seat. We kind of have that played out. I'm still waiting on parts, so I guess a month in. I guess some stuff was back ordered, so I'm missing my U joint, so there's no point really doing my steering column and stuff. Though I do have a column I'm going to use. I probably should maybe cut this thing up. Um, I think it's an old Plymouth column or something, but the steering box is pretty much hammered out, so there's no point trying to. Uh, for myself, anyways, I don't would never bother rebuilding this thing. So I think it's a good candidate. There's lots of good metal in these, so I'm just going to cut it pretty close to the box. Uh, maybe we'll just do a rough test fit to see how the steering column works. And uh, I think I'll take the top of this seat off just to make sure that my hunch is right. I'll pull the top off. I'll get that stupid foam out of there and see if it's more comfortable. Again, I do want to square this thing up so it sits a little nicer. But hey, maybe before then I'll find some bucket seats and we'll put some buckets in it. But as it is for now, I'm just going to uh, leave it as is and use it. But I want to cut that column up. We'll kind of loosey-goosey fit it. And we'll get a feeling where my steering, if it's right and feels right and whatnot. So I'm thinking we're going to tackle those things. And then I'll probably pull the body off, get the hole started, so we can actually get access to all the body mounts like we're supposed to. At least that's my, my plan. So this is actually what was sitting in the seat. I think I showed that before, but once we got all that out, it's actually pretty comfy. Well, that's a little better. Well, actually it's a lot better than it was. Um, yeah, it still could use a little more padding in the middle then, because it's just a little more firm here than it is here, but I don't even know. Maybe we'll take a bunch of, like get a new, middle cushion but uh because like i say if we square that out we uh might be able to just do a different plywood and some new cushion in the middle but we'll see again it might end up getting bucket seats but at least i have a seat to mock up at this point this will be pretty close to a regular car seat somewhere in that vicinity versus me sitting on the floor Anyways, next thing is we're going to pull this body off so I can kind of get all these pilot holes done through the cab so we have a, a rough idea where things have got to go. We may as well go with that route. And uh, ah, you know what? I'm going to do the steering first. Let's do that because we can kind of give a, a rough guesstimate where it's going to go. Even if the hole's bigger, we can make a, a removable plate when it comes down to it. We just won't. We'll just mock our steering column like butt up to the steering box here that way when the u-joint happens because it'll be here and half in and out of the out of the car but yes do that first Well, I definitely did not enjoy that. <laughs> but the plan is, uh, I just haven't got it yet. See, my floor is actually here in the cab. So I was going to trim this panel back so from underneath this side, I can get a wrench in there a lot easier. Good cramp. Oh. Need to eat a banana or something. <laughs> 
But anyways, the idea is that I can get in from the backside and I'll be able to swing them with a wrench. Right now I could only go because the motor's there and I haven't made the inner plate. Anyways, we took it off because we kind of loosely mocked up. There's a hole here, so I'm just going to cut an oversized hole and I can just push the extra bit of the steering column out. And then I can at least inside the cab get a feel for uh, how I think the steering will feel and how much we got to cut off. And then we can kind of like clamp it to the dash and stuff. All right, well, hole saw time. Well, let's gonna see how well this works. I mean, if I did the swing away, that'd be great. <laughs> This is a big wheel though. Oh yes, we are definitely putting a smaller steering wheel on here. And I think we're going to have to have the whole oh, lot that's a big wheel. Personally, I think this seat has to go lower. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. I do not like the feel of this. This is too close to my crotch. <laughs> I don't mind the wheel. Like, the wheel would be doable, but... Yeah, no, that's just not going to happen. Alright. Uh, I'm going to dismantle this seat, and we're going to try this again. I mean, we got to make a frame. Yeah, let's butcher some stuff and see what happens. <laughs> still too big. Oh, Alright, well. Oh, that thing just begs a smaller steering wheel. Fortunately that's where my steering box is. Holy is I feel like a jalopy. sitting right on the floor. I don't like that. All right. Well, we'll figure something out. Well, this one does not work the way I want because it's got a keyed shaft. So I'm probably going to have to buy myself uh, a weld-on adapter. This is three quarter inch, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I might have to get a weld-on adapter that I can do this as a quick connect kind of thing. I think that's the way I'm going to do this. But for now, I think I'll just put a shim and a washer just to hold this in place so I get a feel for where stuff is, like if it's gonna feel okay in the car. And we can kinda of mount the column even though the bits don't work with it yet, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that for now. Hmm. Found this, I don't know what it's about, but we'll at least get a feel if my steering wheel feels right. If we go with the smaller one or the bigger one. It's going to steer easy regardless because it is a Corvair box, so we definitely don't need the big wheel. Alright, let's see how it looks. Definitely smaller. I had the, the back padding from a seat, so I'm trying that. Like a really small cushion. We'll see how this works. Maybe all the work I did on this seat is going to be for nothing. Oh well. That's how it goes. Ugh. That's much better. I can tell that already. Ooh, I'm happy with that. Oh yeah. Uh. 
I don't know. Seems all right. Like, yeah, see my legs out, but that's like smashed to the floor. My brake pedal would normally be there. This thing would be up a little bit higher. With the little wheel. Ah, that'd be good. I don't know. How awkward is it to get out like this? Oh, yeah. Only the arm. So what if we had the arm out more like that? says if this was right there oh yeah that'll work okay this whole chair scenario is like crap <laughs> she tells me I'm making a seat well the steering wheel feels good unfortunately all the work I did on the seat is kind of crap it's not gonna work out very well so um, like I was sitting on this cushion, which was fine. I almost need to figure out a way to do a smaller seat bottom and it would be fine. Like this is, tells me that everything I did, if I was to get an actual uh, bucket seat, it just wouldn't work very well. So I think we're gonna have to make a frame that will pad and make our own cushion for the backrest, which no big deal. And then the bottom, we'll have to do something similar, uh, but we're gonna have a much thinner cushion in it like it's comfortable to sit on everything's good the steering feels okay right here it's a little off center which I don't know that'll be annoying to some people there let's see if we can get all of our our ducks in a row here there we go so as you can see that's the annoying part that I have I don't like but it is what it is how the steering is kind of off in the center but I think you can't control that, it just has to be what it is. So it's nicely, it's far enough away from the door. Oops. Like plenty. We can kind of come back, it's not the end of the world. I don't want it to be... Hmm. No, it just, I can make it centered, but it doesn't feel right to the person sitting in it. That's kind of actually where I was going with this. When it sits here, at yay angle about like that, it uh, feels like it's perfectly centered, like it's not, like it's off, well, whatever, it's hard to explain. If I'm sitting at the wheel, instead of it being off, it would be off center of you, which I guess is fine, as long as it's crooked. I guess the idea is it wouldn't impale you and you get into an accident or something, but either way, we, uh, this looks okay. We're gonna make a simple drop bracket. Nothing's gonna get permanent. This thing will have to get cut back. I don't know if I really have to make a removable dealio, other than this thing's pretty ugly. Uh, I don't think I have any small wheels. I do have a funky Ford column that has a blinker on it. And it does have a shifter. I know people have said that, but if you look at my spacing here, there's no real room to run a regular shifter. I guess you could do cable again, but there's then you'd have some more ugliness here that I don't want to have, so. All right, so our plan is gonna to be to make a simple drop bracket that's gonna sort of bolt into close to where the original one is under here. We might have to do some modifying, but uh, I'm gonna do a double bracket that we're just gonna go up and it's gonna bolt into the dash. On the lower part, because we're gonna reuse a lot of this, but I'm gonna to have to put a, a pillow bearings, a pillow bearing or like a bearing in the bottom to support the shaft. And we're gonna to have to put a U-joint I just got to see if I have any bearings left. My go-to is I always go to Princess Auto and I buy wheelbarrow bearings and they always fit in the bottom nice and they're always for a three-quarter inch shaft. And it looks like I am out. Man, that sucks. Really? Bugger. Anyways, we're going to base it on that. That should just fit in there nice and then you can kind of tack it in. Uh, what I'm gonna do on the lower part because I know the u-joint is gonna be around here So I think for now. I'm gonna cut this off. We can stick the steering box back on I'm gonna quickly blitz this like I think I got to do 
Uh, we got some in there. So we got a round. Yeah, we got we're gonna plasma just above this so we can get at that bolt a lot nicer. That's kind of the idea. And then we're gonna cut this because this actually has got the sunk in, but I want to be able to unbolt the steering column to get uh well the shaft is gonna have a weld on end on it, so but the other side is gonna bolt into the steering box. Anyways, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get this lightly mocked up. We're gonna do just a a float cut here, but we're gonna have to sink this back. So I think the U-joint's gonna kinda go into the cab, out of the cab. So I'll make something that'll bolt on and uh, uh, it'll be serviceable and stuff like that if a feller has to. All right, you can roughly see what my idea was. So we made an upper collar for this that'll bolt up into there. Down here I have a housing, so I don't know how far in my U-joint's gotta go. So I decided to double up just some exhaust pipe and uh, like I'm gonna tack this. I'm gonna pull it off, I'll tack it together, but just so you kind of see what I was going for. Then up here it's gonna bolt up to here. So we'll be able to have our U-joint kind of going through. I should find that other one just so I have a rough dry run what it's gonna if I need to go back more I think I do it won't hurt anything because there's gonna be a bearing in there so this is not the right one but just trying to get a feel for yeah so the one I'm getting is gonna have a weld on end so it's gonna it'll be like this side we'll be going into the car and then it'll come out to the steering box. So that's the idea. I realize I got to cut more of this off now. I got to go further back into there, but that's fine. We'll just cut it back a bunch. If I had a, a locating pin on it, I'll just make an access hole on the inside so you can actually adjust the Allen key. But um, I know I bought a, a weld on one, so it's not like I need, I need to access it from the inside. Anyways, let's get it down. I have it tacked up. Uh, I'm going to trim that other plate down some more. And because I think I 
I want to bring this up another inch, two inches. I'll bring it back halfway up my whole pipe and then we, uh, we can burn it together and I'll show you the, the finished piece. Survey says, oh. mm, I think it's got to go over more. I think there would be really good. I'll have to redo all those holes. Feels good. I don't know that I want it. Like it's gonna have a quick connect on it, so I think it's gonna stick out a little more, so that'll be perfect. Well, that's what I did. I ordered uh, one of those quick connects so we can get the a feller can get the wheel off to get into the car easier. And I bet you with that hub and adapter, it's probably gonna sit out here somewhere. Uh, you might be wondering why I went through all this work because I could have just as well put a heim joint here and run, you know, put a bearing on the firewall, but I want to be able to mount my blinker onto here, so. That's kind of the goal. So, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty good. Okay, so this is our setup. I still have to re-drill some new holes there, but we made our column mount. Uh, down in the bottom, you can see, we haven't welded this yet, because I gotta get that pillow bearing, then we can weld that up. So, that way the column's permanently mounted to the, call, the dash and the firewall, so that'll be all of our support. Again, like I said, I set this up because I want to be able to put a blinker on here and when you turn with a solid shaft. The other way you could do this is just have a heim joint sitting here with a three quarter inch shaft going through and then have like a, I don't know, like a flush mount bearing that you can kind of, like a lock bearing to hold your column and everything in place. That would be the option, but I'm doing it this way. So from here, kind of looks like a funky hole, but we're going to have our pillow bearing, we're going to have the shaft coming through and then our heim joint will, or I mean our, um, our steering joint will come through onto here. I haven't got around to cutting that yet, but I'm kind of, I'm thinking we have to uh, cut this video a little short because I have my wife flagging me down. <laughs> we're, uh, we're about to go on a road trip out west, so I have to clean up and go. So, unfortunately, this is a shorter video. Sorry, folks. We're going to, uh, I think I'm going to end her right here with our steering wheel mounted. Hopefully when we get back from our trip, all my parts are in, so we'll be able to start really smashing this thing together. Well, start working on the motor side. We'll actually finish the body mounts like I said I was going to do. On a road trip, we'll be kind of ripping around, visiting a couple other YouTube channels and fellers out there. So 
I almost recommend checking out our second channel, Half Ass Customs, the other half. There's actually a link on our, our main page at the bottom if you can't find it, but uh, we'll probably have some videos up on there of our trip, some shorts and things like that. But anyways, again, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, bud. <laughs> Isn't it hot? Let's go sit in the lake. Hmm? Why don't you go sit in the lake? <laughs>